Hello everybody, thank you for coming to have a look at my uh, latest two journals. These are my um, design team project for Artie Mays um, and I've used two of the Christmas kits. Christmas cheer which is in this one and hybrid Christmas which is in this one. Um, I'll do two separate videos because they did end up to be quite um, chunky journals. So the first one, um, both of them are using little golden books. The first one, as I say, um, is using Hybrid Christmas and it's called The Animal's Christmas Eve. That's the title of the little golden book. I've also made a little add-on to go in it and this was inspired by Shabby Doodah. Um, it's a little folded booklet so I've put some pages in it for additional journaling space. There's a little tuck spot there and there's a card just there. I haven't stuck it in the book because I thought that would be for somebody to decide whether they wanted it in or or not. It's got cloth down the side. Um, the book, the books, as I say, it's made from a little golden book. Looks as if it's been quite a well-loved book as well. The books measure approximately uh, six inches wide, eight inches tall. Um, I've put a two-inch spine on them um, and I've put some fabric on there with some Christmassy buttons. And as I say, this one is called The Animal's Christmas Eve. And this one is the kit uh, Hybrid Christmas. So both of the journals have two um, signatures and there's around 120 pages front and back. And some bubble trim there. The additional images are from Old Design Shop. So these are, these are from the kit, so there's an envelope there with a journaling card inside, a little tuck spot. There's a little envelope there as well, that has a card inside it as well. Some Christmas music there, and a tab and the page that all of the book, The Animal's Christmas Eve, is in this one. And these kits from Artie Mays, oh, they've been a dream to work with. Um, I've really enjoyed them. The images are just so beautiful. There's an envelope there on a belly band. And that has a journaling card inside it as well. And it says there, all is calm, all is bright. I hope you can see it all. Book page there, Edith Holden large tag and a bag with a journaling card inside, a page from the kit. This is, um, it's an Edith Holden book but it's in conjunction with somebody else and that had all different puddings on it so I use this one because it has the Christmas pudding recipe in it and that says joy to the world and a couple of cards there and one of the envelopes that I shrank down inside there. Lovely image there, I think it's a red cardinal, it is to me. Lovely robins and again a little journaling spot there, journaling card, upside down bird. So there is lots and lots of journaling space in this one. Again a page from the book. double tag pocket there. This is um, a large envelope that I've put in and covered it with one of the images that I shrank down and some tags in there as well. And then on the back of it some more journaling space and one of the circular tags there and a couple of journaling tags in there. Another envelope. I think that as well has something inside. Yeah, there's a journaling card in there. Oh, and on the back of there, some extra journaling cards. And these tags, um, I think there was one, I think there was one in this kit, but I've cut others out of papers that I had left over, so they go all the way through. Fabric flip there with the ribbons that I've used and the fabric that was on the spine. Lovely image there from the book. 
in the centre of the first signature. That's an envelope with a journaling card inside. It says there at the bottom, Winter Wonderland. And down at the bottom there, have yourself a very Merry Christmas. And three wise men. There's a large tag there. And then on the back there, there's another journaling card. In the back of the large envelope with one of the tuck spots there. And again with cards inside so that you can journal on them. Of a book page. This was um, a row of tags, there were, I think there were three, um, so I cut two off and folded it over the page and stitched it on. Silent Night at the top there. And then on the back there, some fold out paper with one of the round ephemera tags there. The back of the um, recipe book recipe page. And here in this little pocket I've shrunk down the little envelopes. There's nothing inside that one. Just hooked it on there so it doesn't fall out. Another large tag. Edith Holden. Another of the pockets. And the mason jar there that you can journal on. The, the ribbons Stuck on the back, but just tied on the front so you can open that. So there is still, although it's quite loaded, there are lots of journaling spaces in this one. Um, these tags, as I say, these are three tags together, so I fold, folded them up so you can journal on them, or you can cut them up if you wanted to. I'm going to say the, the other... Um, Bits are from, um, I think it was um, Old Design Shop. And then the second signature. Some bobble trim on there. And then ribbon on there. I didn't put bobble on both because it got all knotted up and I liked the effect of the, the ribbon on there. There's another pocket there. These are both from the kit, so they're there for extra journaling space. Some of these are made out of um, extra papers that I had left over. Again, the second part of the, the story. Some festive ribbon there on a tuck spot. Another Edith Holden page there. And that was one of the pages that I've cut down and made into a tag, and another of the little envelopes that I shrank down. Just tucked over there. Another of the recipes, that's stuffing and sauces. Liver and bacon stuffing. In case you wanted a recipe. Some tags there. This was the pocket I've, that I used before that was um, inspired by Shabby Doodah. I hope you can see that. So each one folds open. And then there's tuck spots, a little envelope there with a little card in. And then tuck spots there. Then pictures here, an image of Santa and the children watching out for him. So there's still room to journal on that as well. Nice little hidden pockets. And again, the large um, envelope, some cards in the back, and a little round ephemera from the kit. And two cards in that side. And again, lots of journaling space. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. And another of the lovely envelopes on there. Again, that has a card inside it and then some ephemera tucked in there. Another of the large tags. That's made out of one of the um, pages of the kit. Then just cut, cut down and stuck together. Pocket there. Again, some tags. 
and another of the little mason jars. Again, the ribbons stuck on the back, folded in half. Down here it says, I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all year. The centre of the signature, little journaling card in there. Tuck spot there with the little cards in. Again, that one's cut out from the kit. Christmas is for families. In the back of the large tag. And again, this was um, a row of three tags. So cut one of the tags off, stitched it over the page. And again, the extra journaling space there. The back of the large envelope with the tags in. Another of the large tags there with a tuck spot behind. They both obviously unclip. Be there for bread sauce to go with your turkey. Pocket there with the tag inside. There's another envelope there and a library card tucked in there. And that has a card inside it as well. True spirit of Christmas is love. Back of the music paper there. And then back of the second signature again, there's another envelope with a card inside and a couple of extra tags. So that is the Artie Mays kit hybrid Christmas, and that's inside the little golden book, The Animals, oops, sorry, The Animals Christmas Eve. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I do hope you like it. Thank you very much.